return refugees back, because if conditions were right, refugees would go back of their own free will. ตัวเลนตัวทับยาก็แล้วตัวท่านเนี่ยตัวท่านตัดเด็กเกล้าดีกว่าตีบ้าจีดงเด็กจีดเนี่ยปะพ่อบ้านเนี่ยบ้านเ
uh, rights, danger of work, etc., etc. Me, I can't ask you any but tell her, but she gave one more, but she gave one more letter. But another that I lay away, or the head with the lead to see that what you love there. The way to cut the unity of the bar, the Talo Taclio, the Kila Bakatona, and the Jiva winning it. You know, so previously they were in a village, they go back and find it's a rubber plantation. What are they going to do then? All these things are unanswered questions for the refugees. I heard many rumors that there, that is uh, that UN. They're going to send back to refugees to Burma. Also, Thai government they forced to go back to refugee to Burma. We heard that all UNHCR went to Burma to uh, talk about the repatriation of refugees. Yeah, this one it's like we we never uh, I never meant the UNHCR, but I heard a lot of people talk about this one. But now who do you know who? But at the military you know, but the day what you know, but send them to Malaysia with the love. But now who do you know? Uh, the funding, also food ration have been cut because uh, there will not be any support for the refugee who choose to stay, only for those who will go back. So different rumor, so we don't know whether it is real or not, and then it become a worry within the refugee camp. But of course also amongst the communities it's difficult for them to have all the information and to see the full picture and so many rumours float around that you know this it's a very, very challenging time. Then also there's a survey in the camp by the Thai government asking like whether you want to stay, whether you want to go back or whether you want to resettle to the third country. Then people started to worry that something will happen. Well, of, uh, of course the fear is natural. There can hardly be a refugee who hasn't had direct impact uh, in their family. Someone, there, there has been torture or their house has been burned down or someone's killed. I mean, everyone has had that experience. So you, it's, of course, very difficult to, 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 to believe in anything at this point. The people, uh, the people in the camp, they are feel, they are feel scared, they are feel sad or something like that. They are afraid. ตัวเขาเตยว่าไม่กระเปลวกับเพียวมั่วว่าเตยเตยเราจะพอมาเพียวไปกลัวอ้วนเลยเตยเราจะทับไปหาก้าวปมมือกับป้าตัวอีกร
ตีชกลีมาซ่องเลยเออไอ้อุตส่าห์ตัวซ่องเลยหาไอ้ซ่องเลยบล็อกจ้ะตีนั้นซ่าปีดาอ่าตะลาบายเสียยินดีมาซ
community-based organizations. We think uh, this process we can lead and, uh, and also we can organize our people. I think from what I've heard from colleagues in Mesod, it's going pretty well. I mean, I think we meet regularly with government authorities, the Thai authorities. We meet with the CBOs often, um, with the refugee committees. Um, I know we meet regularly with TBBC, uh, with the... I can't, I can, sorry, I can never remember the, the acronym. I asked UNSCR about the consultations um, with refugees regarding repatriations. Uh, because from my visit to the field and meeting with a different group of the refugees in the camp, they expressed their concern that they have exhausted all of their attempts to consult UNSCR regarding repatriations or getting information from UNSCR. We ask the UNSCR, we request them to have a consultation with a community-based organization formally. So we request them to come and talk to with the community-based organization. But until now, we still follow up two or three times to meet with them, but we don't get any reply from UNSCR. There seems to be very, very little attempt to try to be inclusive. And not being inclusive to me is to maintain, even emphasize and reinforce the victimization process. And it doesn't help uh, that UNHCR is not doing more to uh, place the refugees at the center of this decision-making process. I mean, ultimately, the, the success or failure of a repatriation is going to be determined by whether the refugees return voluntarily or not. And I would wish that these repatriations could be historic in the sense that we have refugee-led repatriation program. And if that can happen, we could actually turn a new historical page on refugee protection. So it is hard to say is we trust them because if we want to make a trust each other or build up our trust, you have to come up closely and slowly and slowly to, uh, to come closely to each other. But the uh, feel now is we are still far away from each other. We are now saying without us, nothing about us, without us. So this is our call at the moment.